Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Before I begin, please give this video a thumbs up down below. It will take you two seconds and it will help to get this message out there to other survivors. Five things narcissists do when you're sick. Everyone gets sick sometimes. Some people are susceptible to getting sick. It depends on their lifestyle choices, environment, genetics and age. But sleep deprivation and chronic stress are also factors that can cause people to keep getting sick all the time. And chronic stress is something that you will experience from dealing with a narcissist which will cause physical symptoms such as headaches and nausea, as well as ulcers, neurological disorders and heart disease. But although you may get sick, that doesn't mean that the narcissist will abandon you. They won't always do that because their image is very important to them. But that doesn't mean that they're going to be there for you because remember they lack empathy. They have an inability to share your feelings and experience. So although they may be physically there, they're not actually there for you. They're more concerned about themselves while you're struggling to maintain your own health. But when you're not sick and you're able to take care of yourself, it won't always be so obvious that you're dealing with a narcissist. It's more when you're sick that the red flags really begin to show up. When you're in a time of need. Because when that happens, they're not going to be there for you. But there are certain things that they may do. 1. They may act sicker than you. You may be the type of person who never gets sick. You're always on top of things you're always able to deal with certain situations. But then all of a sudden, something happened, you got sick, something happened to you, so you're just taking some time to rest. You're hoping that someone will be there for you. And maybe you've always been the type of person to be there for other people. But when you're dealing with a narcissist, they will ask you to take care of them because they will act like they're sicker than you. Two, they may shame you. They may say that you're weak for being sick or rather than openly saying it, they may just imply it with their actions. Even though they may be the cause of your sickness and if you're sick, there isn't much you can do about it but they will continue treating you badly and unfairly, especially in times when you need their support. And in fact, when you're down, that's when they will really take it up a notch to really grind you into the ground. And they will even blame you for being sick. Three, they may completely ignore you. Your sickness is not something that they consider to be important because they don't see it as their responsibility to take care of you. So they may just act like you're not even there and they may even express it in a bold, direct and aggressive way to where they're confrontational, assertive and daring. You may be sick at home and you're unable to move and you may not have any access to food and they will just leave you there and go off on their own because they don't care. And they may not even cross their mind because they only care about themselves. So they will deal with everything else that they need to do before they even think of you. And even then, they will only come back to you when they need something from you because they lack empathy. They don't feel what you feel. They only experience their own feelings for themselves and everything else is outside the parameters of their personal experience. 
which is how they can be so cold and heartless. And it's like they don't even realize what they're doing because your feelings and situation are beyond the realms of their limited range of perception. So they will fail to see, hear or understand you. They will overlook and miss opportunities to support you because it's almost like you're in two different realities. They only think about themselves. So the thought or idea of considering you may never even enter their conscious mind, which will be highly apparent and noticeable when you are sick. Four, they will see your sickness as an attack. They will see it as something aggressive and offensive, and they will act like you're pretending, as though you're not really sick, when they know fully well that you are. Or some of them may be so delusional to think that you are just pretending and that you're doing it on purpose to inconvenience them, which will make you feel like you have to prove that you're sick, as though you're not someone who can be trusted, which should just be another sign to you that something is seriously wrong with them. Because why would someone assume that you're pretending to be sick? They may do it to keep you looking at yourself and thinking that something is wrong with you so that you don't see that something is wrong with them for not wanting to be there for you. Which is a typical tactic that narcissists will use because they want to appear normal. They don't want to feel like something is wrong with them. So they will try to deflect their shame onto you by disowning these parts of themselves that they don't like and assigning them to you and acting like it has nothing to do with them. It may look like they're running from you, but they're actually just running from this reflection of themselves that they don't like because they know that something is seriously wrong with them for not wanting to be there for you when you're sick. They know they're not normal. They just don't want to accept it. So they run away from it or they try to blame you. Five, they will return when you feel better. When they're carrying that type of energy, you may be glad that they're gone. But just as soon as you experience that sigh of relief following their departure, that's typically when they will be back. Because that is the moment when you will feel better. And narcissists only want to be around if they don't have to deal with your problems. And if they can just use you to cater to them because they don't want to do anything for anyone. They just want you to focus on them. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash survivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.